Okay guys, today what we're going to do is we're just going to burp this uh, brake lever here. I just recently did a full bleed on it and it's a brand new lever and it's working great. Now this is the issue though, over time you'll get air bubbles that are worked their way up to the top and um, the reason for that is it's not because air is getting in the system, that would be a much bigger problem and the system wouldn't work right. It's not that air is getting in, it's just that air never all the way got out. There's no such thing as a perfect bleed. So even though I did a really good job and the lever works great, there's still going to be air that it's going to work its way, particularly in a rear lever by the way, because the rear lever is very long and it's got a lot more bends and it's got places in it that are almost vertical. Air is never going to work its way all the way out during a bleed. It's going to do so over time, especially if you think about it because you know, you're going up hills and you're going down and you're maybe laying the bike uh, on its side at times, you're jumping, doing things like that. Air is going to, over a period of time, work its way out. So what you want to do is, and this is going to be more important on a rear, or rear lever versus a front. Front's going to have an easier time working the air out because look how short this cable is and look at how vertical it is. So air is going to have a much easier time getting out. But you can do this with a front as well. But it's going to be much more important to do on a rear. And what is that? It's going to be to burp it. It's going to be to just uh, go ahead and remove your cap, put on the, the cup, the Shimano cup, because it's a Shimano brake. And then, and notice I'm not angling anything. I just want to get some fluid to the high point. Right? The fluid is definitely clearly the highest point in the brake system. Just want to get some fluid in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open, you know, the little cap here, the little plunger, and I'm just going to pump it a few times. And we should see, you know, one, two, maybe even quite a few bubbles come out. And what's helpful is to just do this every once in a while. I did a full bleed. I rode it for a couple weeks and now I'm going to burp the system and what I'll do is in a few weeks from now I'll probably do it again and each time I do it it should get better and better and better and a little bit tighter. If you're So, so if you've ridden your bike for a while and you haven't burped it in a while and you're saying you know what my lever's getting a little soft, my lever's uh, a little spongy, this is a good trick to make it feel good again. Now if it's been a year since you did anything to it, you probably just need a full bleed. But again, if it hasn't been that long and it's just starting to feel eh, not so good, this is the trick. So if you get the camera down here really close, you can see it and get it right over the top. We're going to move the plunger. We may actually see, if I can do this, a bubble come out just doing this. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. This plunger's in here tight. Come on. Must have put this plunger in here dry. Yep, so there's a bubble right there if you saw that. So that's a bubble that came out right there. Let's see if we get some more. Yep. So see that? We're getting air bubbles out. A lot. Which isn't uncommon because this is the very first time I've done this since I've bled it. And if we're getting air out, then we needed to do this. If you ever screw this thing on and fill it up and pump it, and that first one or two pumps you get nothing, then you've, you're in good shape. Okay, and you've got pretty much most all the air out. So now notice I'm pumping. I'm not getting any more. That did firm my lever feel up a little bit, which is really good. So now we're good for now. Now, believe it or not, if I ride this thing for a couple weeks and I do it again, again, I'm you know laying the bike on this on its side at times in my truck. I'm definitely riding aggressively. Um, what's going to happen is some more air will work its way up and I'll pump it. Now chances are the next time I do it I might get one or two bubbles and that's it. It's going to get better and better and better. Um, now the reason I changed this lever and I'll say this really quickly is because I was getting air out all the time and I realized I had a leak in here in the piston. So in that case I just had to replace the lever. If, if you're constantly getting air, then you may have another problem. And what's going to happen to is your lever is going to act wonky. So that's just a little trick to make your lever feel new again. And slowly but surely work the, all the air out for a great lever feel. So I hope that helps. Till next time, take care.